back to parasitology video lectures. For this week, we will also be dealing with module 3, which is about Trichuris trichura. Reminders, before you start watching the video lecture number 1, please take down notes. Second, listen attentively, avoid unnecessary distractions, and third, give extra attention to information marked with a star because it may be a recall question. Learning objectives for this PowerPoint is to discuss the morphology, the life cycle, the infective stages, diseases associated, modes of transmission, prevention and control, treatment and diagnostic tests for trichuris trichura. And here are the common uh, nematodes, wherein it's a, this is the scientific and common names of the nematodes. Again, we will be dealing with Trichuris trichura, which is otherwise known as the whipworm. I repeat, Trichuris trichura is otherwise known as the whipworm. And here are the other nematodes. And please, again, please do take note of this. This is a recall question. What is the infective stage of our Trichuris? That is the embryonated egg. Trichuris trichura, otherwise known as your whipworm, that is the common name. The disease associated with Trichuris trichura, the nematode, is your rectal prolapse and trichuriasis. Mama na pong itsura ng ating rectal prolapse, ganito po siya. So, halos lumabas na po yung ating rectum. Kaya nga rectal prolapse. Lumabas po yung rectum natin sa ating anus. So, this can happen due to trichuris trichura infection or trichuriasis. The mode of transmission of trichuris trichura is through ingestion. The infective stage again of this parasite is through the ingestion of embryonated egg. I repeat, trichuris trichura mode of transmission is through the ingestion of embryonated egg. Please take note, recall question. The diagnostic stage of trichuris trichura is the presence of eggs in the stool. Okay? So, it can either be embryonated or unembryonated. Both of those are diagnostic stage of trichuris trichura. Please do also take note of the morphology of our trichuris. In the eggs, it is actually very, very well known to have a prominent bipolar plug. So, ito pong itsura ng egg or ova ng ating ascaris, um, ating trichuris, I'm sorry. Then, they have this prominent bipolar plug. I repeat, the trichuris trichura has a prominent, prominent bipolar plug. So, looking at this illustration, so this is the typical na itsura ng ova ng ating trichuris. They have this bipolar. Bipolar kasi dalawang poles, di ba? Sa, dito at saka dito. Then, very prominent po yung plugs niya. So, ayan o. Ito po yung ating tinatawag na bipolar plugs. Very prominent po ito. Pakitake note again. Meron po kasi tayong other na bipolar plug eh. But for trichuris, it is known or known to have, yung eggs niya is to have prominent bipolar plug. Which can either be uh, characterized as a battle shape, a football shape, or a Japanese lantern shape. So, di ba, mukha siyang barrel or football. Mas mukha pa nga football kung ito yung gagamitin nating picture. Di ba, ganun yung shape ng ating football. And also, Japanese lantern shape daw po ang morphology ng ating trichuris. Also, for the adult worms of the trichuris trichura, it is characterized by its whip-like structure. So, mukha siyang whip. Yung whip, di ba? Di ko alam kung ano yung tawag niya. Parang button ata siya sa Tagalo. I'm not sure. But, yung mukha daw siyang whip. Di ba? So, yung parang uh, pinapalo sa kabayo, parang ganun. So, yun yung whip eh. So, whip-like po yung kanyang structure that has yung anterior portion niya po, which is thin. Yung anterior or yung upper portion niya is thin daw po. Ayan. Manipis. Di ba ito ang nipis niya? In comparison with its posterior end, which is thick. Kaya po nga siya yung kanyang structure is whip-like. Kasi yung mga whip po kasi natin ganito, yung parang makapal yung isang side niya at yung dulo niya is mas manipis. And, ayun po yung characteristic morphology ng ating trichuris trichura. Again, kapag po X ang pinag-uusapan or ova, prominent bipolar plug, battle shape, football shape, Japanese lantern. However, for the adults ng ating trichuris trichura, either male or female, ang kanyang common structure is characterized by its whip-like structure. Kaya siya whip-like kasi po yung anterior portion niya is thin, manipis, 
in comparison with the posterior portion which is thick. Ayan po, makapal. This is the typical life cycle of our triquris. Very basic ang kanyang life cycle. We will start with unembryonated eggs passed in the feces which is also again the diagnostic stage of the parasite or oh, speci specifically the triquris. After the un unembryonated egg stage, it will move on to a two cell stage. Then the third level here, we have the advanced cleavage stage. Then after the third here, you will now have the embryonated egg. And then once that uh, the egg has been embryonated, it can be ingested at the embryonated egg nga po, yung infective stage of the parasite. And thus repeating the life cycle. Then please take note. So, sige, ganito. Diba? Na-ingest mo ngayon yung embryonated egg ni Tricurid. So, ma-ingest mo yan, makain mo, pupunta sa chan, papunta sa small intestine muna. Doon po sa small intestine, mag-hatch yung ating mga larvae. However, after the larval stage, magiging adult worms na po yan sa ating large intestine or sa sisum. Sisum of the large intestine. If you have watched the previous lecture before this, yung module 2 kung napanood nyo, it was discussed there that the adults of the Tricuris tricura is, can actually be found in the large intestine. Okay? So again, the adults of the Tricuris tricura can be found in the large intestine, particularly po sa sisum ng ating large intestine. So ganun po kadali ang life cycle ni Tricuris. Again, magsisimula yan sa unembryonated egg passed in the feces, magiging to cell stage, papunta sa advanced cleavage stage, and then after this stage, pupunta na yan sa embryonated egg. Once na na-ingest ng isang individual ang embryonated egg, magkakos yan ng infection to us. Kasi ito yung infective stage niya. Then once na na-ingest mo, dadaan yan sa chan, papunta sa small intestine wherein the larvae will hatch. And then after nung mag-hatch yung ating larvae sa small intestine, pupunta yan po ngayon sa large intestine nyo, particularly in the sisum, at dun po magkakaroon ng reproduction po yung both male and female natin, the large intestine, kasi dun po sila natatakbo. Laboratory diagnosis of tricuris. Diagnosis is made by stool examination using direct fecal smear OLED, so through the aid of the microscope. Also, you can try to check for tricuris using cathotic, cathocats, or concentration techniques to demonstrate the characteristic barrel-shaped ova. So, di ba mo siyang barrel? So, ito pang itsura ng barrel glass. And then, ito po yung itsura ni tricuris. Di ba somehow, yung shape nila is almost the same. Just the difference is yung barrel is flat po ito, di ba? Right? Unlike the uh, tricuris which has the prominent bipolar plug. Plus, by the way, ha, be familiar with the characteristic morphology or yung itsura po ng mga different parasites na yan, okay? It is vital for a medical technologist to properly distinguish the different parasites, okay? Kasi po tayo po ang titingin yan sa microscope. Eh, what if hindi ka marunong mag-identify? Okay, so dapat po alam nyo po yung itsura ng mga different parasites natin, either the adults or the ova. Especially class the OVA. Treatment and prevention and control of tricuris. Treatment po ng ating tricuris can be through albendazole, nebendazole, and pyrandeltamoid or a drug of choice in the treatment for tricuriasis. Prevention and control of this parasite. Infection may be prevented by Number one, treatment of infected individual. This is something to do now with the control of the parasite. Kasi infected na siya eh. So, iti-treat natin siya ngayon to control the spread of the infection. Also, sanitary disposal of human feces. Also, washing of hands before meal and avoid using human excreta as fertilizer. Because again, the main mode of transmission of tricuris is through fecal oral route or ingestion of the embryonated egg. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or clarifications, you may reach me through this email.